Mangoes are one of the most important and popular tropical fruits globally. In Australia, mangoes are not only a valuable commercial crop, but also a symbol of tropical agriculture. With vast farms, Australia produces tens of thousands of tons of mangoes each year, supplying the domestic market and exporting globally. Achieving this yield requires a high level of technical precision and stringent management throughout the growing and harvesting process. In large farms in Australia, late spring is considered the ideal time to start planting new mango trees. At this time, the warm weather, appropriate humidity, and rainfall help the trees quickly adapt and develop deep roots into the soil. The soil for mango planting needs to be carefully prepared. First, the soil is plowed to create a loose structure and dried to eliminate pests. Organic fertilizers, such as manure, are then applied to provide the necessary nutrients for the trees in the early stages. After the seedlings are planted, farmers use wires to tie and guide the trees to grow upright. This helps the trees remain stable against strong winds or external impacts and ensures they have a sturdy structure to support the weight of the fruit during the harvest season. The process from planting to harvest usually takes two to three years, depending on the climate, mango variety, and care techniques. During this time, mango trees undergo several important growth stages, including root system development, trunk growth, leaf formation, and finally, flowering and fruiting. After reaching a certain level of maturity, mango trees begin to flower, usually in early summer. The flowering stage is crucial as it directly affects the yield and quality of the fruit. Although mango trees produce many flowers, only a small percentage successfully develop into fruit. It takes about 105 days from flowering to fruit ripening, during which the trees require special care to ensure the fruit develops properly. Mango trees require a significant amount of water during their growth and fruit development stages. Irrigation needs to be adjusted according to the tree's development stage. During the early stages, water should be sufficient to avoid waterlogging. When the tree begins to flower and fruit, watering needs to be increased to ensure the fruit develops uniformly and of good quality. To avoid waterlogging, the drainage system must be properly designed. Especially during the rainy season, it is essential to ensure that water does not accumulate around the tree base, which can cause root rot and reduce yield. Mango trees need to be provided with adequate nutrients throughout their development. Organic fertilizers are commonly used in the early stages to improve soil and provide essential nutrients. Later, farmers apply NPK fertilizers and other micronutrients to promote tree growth and enhance flowering and fruiting capabilities. Nutrients must be balanced to ensure mango trees are neither deficient nor oversupplied. This process requires a deep understanding of the biological characteristics of the trees and the soil conditions in each growing area. Mango trees are often affected by pests like scale insects, stem borers, and fungi. Australian farmers apply integrated pest management techniques, including the appropriate use of pesticides at the correct dosage and timing, combined with biological methods such as raising natural predators to control pests naturally. Fungal diseases like powdery mildew and leaf spot pose significant threats to mango trees. In addition to using fungicides, practices like pruning and ensuring adequate airflow in the orchard are crucial in reducing the risk of disease transmission. Mangoes are harvested when they are fully ripe, typically 105 days after flowering. Choosing the right harvest time is critical to ensuring the mangoes reach their optimal sweetness, flavor, and post-harvest shelf life. Harvesting usually takes place on dry days to prevent the fruit from getting wet, which can lead to spoilage and difficulties in storage. For medium-height mango trees, farmers often harvest by hand to avoid damaging the fruit. This method requires precision and skill, especially when harvesting mangoes from high branches or those that may be hidden. For taller mango trees, 
Farmers use tools such as mango picking poles or harvesting machines to reach and pick the fruit from higher branches. This helps save time and effort while minimizing losses due to fruit dropping. After harvesting, the mangoes are transported to processing facilities for initial handling. The mangoes are first cleaned to remove dirt, then sorted based on size, color, and ripeness. After sorting, the mangoes are packed in specialized boxes or containers to protect the fruit during transport. Some mangoes are packed for domestic sale, while others are prepared for export to international markets. For frozen mangoes, the fruit is peeled, sliced, and tightly packed before being stored at low temperatures. A significant portion of harvested mangoes is processed into juice at factories. This process includes extracting juice from the fruit, filtering and bottling, ensuring the preservation of the fresh mango flavor and nutrients. Frozen mangoes are another popular product, widely consumed both domestically and internationally. After being sliced, mangoes are quickly frozen to preserve them for a long time without losing their natural flavor. The process of growing and harvesting mangoes in Australia involves a complex series of activities that require precision, patience, and the application of modern techniques. From choosing the right planting time, caring for the trees throughout their growth, to harvesting and processing the product, every step must be carefully and accurately executed. Thanks to the combination of advanced farming techniques and long-standing experience, Mango farms in Australia have achieved high yields and excellent product quality, contributing to the sustainable development of agriculture and the national economy. Thank you for your attention.